Hey guys, welcome to MacTicker Robotics. Today we're going to take a deep look at my new DIY remote. This new remote is more or less the evolution of my old one, which I used for about five years to control various projects. And it works really well. It's actually still a good remote, but having only joysticks, it's not good for doing combinations of commands like we can do with the addition of buttons. Despite trying different designs, I realized that my old remote has a very nice shape and I ended up using the same outline as it, with just a few adjustments at some spots. The frames and bracket were handcrafted with high impact polystyrene. It's my favorite material and I've been using it for about 10 years now. Why don't you use a 3D printer, you might be thinking. To be honest, I think 3D printers are really cool devices and I don't dismiss the idea of having one in the future. But I really like the visceral feeling of making my own parts with my own hands. To finish the parts I used automotive spray paint. And the top frame, like on the old remote, was wrapped in a carbon fiber texture.
The main change on the electronic side is that now I have a single joystick, but a very advanced one. It has four functions, that is three axes, X, Y and Z, and a button on top. Another main new feature is this button pad, which makes it easy to create multiple combinations of commands. This pad is a custom PCB that I designed. It has the same diameter as the joystick ring for some symmetry. Designed the PCB with fritzing. It's a very simple board. It just has these four buttons. And an SMD header on the bottom layer to keep the top layer as clean as possible. The PCB was manufactured by PCBWay, professional manufacturer of high quality PCBs. Most of the options here I kept the defaults. I chose black solder mask. You can have 10 PCBs like this for just $5 plus shipping costs. The communication is made with NRF to 4 L1 modules. For the LCD, I don't have anything special planned right now, but it can be used to display the values of the joystick and switches for debugging, for example or to create some kind of menu, I don't know yet, but it looks good with my name on it. Part of the concept of this new remote was to have some mad, extravagant details. To fulfill this desire, I placed these cables going outside the remote, which also ended up helping in the internal organization of the wires. And finally, everything is controlled with an Arduino-based board. My first option was a nanoboard with an expansion shield that makes connections easier and has several power pins, but ended up using this mega board which has a very small form factor. It lacks of 5 volts and ground pins, but well, it's a mega board. We have a lot of spare pins, and since the entire project and components don't draw much current, I can solve this lack of power pins just by setting some to high and low. The code uses a data structure which has all the variables of the joystick and switches and it works more or less like a data packet and everything is sent together. 
And on the other side, I mean the receiver module. I can decide what to do with the received values and define which combinations will do what in the robot. That's it guys, I'll put a link in the description of a project page with some files for this remote. Don't forget to leave a comment and like, and subscribe to follow up on upcoming projects. Bye!